Hello everybody. Today we're going to try and solve a Myrtle. What's a Myrtle? Myrtle is uh, from this website, uh, myrtle.com, um, by a person called GT Carber, and uh, they've got a book out which they'd like to promote uh, every moment um, on on the at the moment. Anyway, um, this is the case for the first of August. And uh, I'm going to show you here on screen how to solve this kind of puzzle. Uh, obviously, I won't release this one on the 1st of August, so as not to ruin it for anybody. Just to give you an idea of the how to do this kind of puzzle um, and get those things solved. So let's dive right in um, to the way that the game works. Um, there are, in this day, there are three suspects, three weapons, three locations and three motives. And um, if you're playing on the computer, you can see the cards here on the left hand side and on the right hand side you can see the, um, the sort of logic space which is all of the possibilities of all of the things and this is going to be how we keep notes in our sort of notebook. So um, in this case uh, you, have, you have four types of things, suspects, weapons, locations and motives. Other days they, um, ha they don't have motives but they have four kinds of um, suspects say for example, always effectively this complicated, four types of things versus three um, uh, possibilities or uh, three types of things and four possibilities e each day. So it's the same kind of problem but just two different ways around. So yes, today, today is uh, four types of things, so suspects, weapons, locations and motives. And if we turn over the cards, um, you'll see the first three suspects. <clears throat> and they are Captain Slate, Dr Crimson and Chancellor Tuscany. So let's look at Captain Slate and what do we know about Captain Slate. A real life astronaut, the first woman to travel around the dark side of the moon and also the first to be suspected of murdering her co-pilot. Okay, uh, she's five foot five, left-handed, brown eyes, brown hair, and she's an Aquarius. Dr. Crimson. She's the smartest doctor she's ever met, according to her, and she's probably right. She smokes cigarettes, but if she gets lung cancer, she'll find a cure. Uh, we've got more details about her. I won't read all of those out uh, until they're necessary. And we finally, we have Chancellor Tuscany. Chancellor Tuscany is the head of Deduction College, revered for her intelligence, social charm, and the fear she strikes in the heart of enemies. Now, sounds like Chancellor Tuscany would be good at playing this game. Uh, so uh, let's put those cards down and now let's have a look at the weapons. The weapons are an ancient anchor, a steak knife, and Myrtle Volume 1. Again, I told you they are um, trying to promote the book at the moment. So here is an ancient anchor. It's covered in moss um, and the chain is rusty. It looks awesome. That's good to know. It's heavyweight and made of metal. A steak knife. Why do they even sell these? Their only purpose uh, is to cut dead flesh. Logico, that's you, uh, the detective, had heard of people being stabbed with something like this. For evidence of this, look for a killer dining utensil left behind. Um, okay, and then lastly, Myrtle Volume 1. Solve 100 murders and learn how uh, uh, Iratino and Logico met. Uh, Iratino is a, is a sort of helper, sort of the... Um, um, Sherlock Holmes' older brother, and I've just completely blanked on what his name is, but not Moriarty, uh, but his his friend, uh, who helps him out and is somehow smarter than him. Right, last one is the locations. Uh, the three locations are the lifeboat, the dining hall, um, and the Amazon River. So the, let's look at those cards. The lifeboat, this could save your life. It could also be where you get murdered. Uh, the dining hall, this beautiful ceramic plates are definitely not stolen. And uh, lastly, the Amazon River, the biggest river in the world, also one of the most famous. I'm not quite sure how all of these places are next to each other, but there we go. And then finally, the motives. So it could be to silence a witness, to rob the victim or inherit a fortune. So um, silence a witness, what did they see? Were they worth being killed for it, uh, over it? Uh, to rob the victim, maybe they had a really expensive diamond on them or a cool hat. Uh, and finally, to inherit a fortune. One of the oldest reasons to murder right after God liking your brother's sacrifice. Well, a little Cain and Abel reference there. Okay, so we've seen the clues and you can see over here on the right hand side, those different things, the suspects, motives and locations are here. The weapons, locations and motives are here. And so effectively, you've got a way of telling, you know, if this suspect, which is um, uh, Captain Slate, um, has the weapon, 
uh, which is the anchor, then you'd be able to put a marker across or a tick here. So you can say, yeah, that's definitely right. Or a question mark, not sure about that. And it goes back to blank. So it just toggles through those four different states. Um, and then once you know what the answer is, you'll see, okay, I can tell these ones have got lots of ticks and add lots of crosses. Okay, the key though, is that each suspect brought one weapon to one location and they each have one motive to kill. Only one was the murderer today. So it's a, it's a one for one map. So if you find that, say for example, this uh, Captain Slate has the anchor, uh, then that means that Captain Slate doesn't have the knife, doesn't have the uh, book. And in fact, because Captain Slate has the anchor, it means that the other two don't have it either. So it's a pretty straightforward um, uh, uh, sort of mechanic here, um, but it's just sort of making sure that we we, we understand how that works, and that's true for all of them. And in fact, um, as we'll see in a minute, sometimes there's more that can be implied through uh, that connection. Okay, so there's some clues and evidence uh, to help us. Doesn't look like much, but let's take a look. Uh, so the first clue is, whoever wanted to silence a witness had a heavy weight weapon. So if we go back at the weapons, there were, um, there were three different weapons and we can probably work out just by looking at the names which one's the heaviest um, which is this anchor um, it does say heavyweight right here uh, and the other lightweight and medium weight so it's pretty specific it's not sort of just guesswork you have to know it is heavyweight it says that that is the heavyweight so what we're saying is that the anchor um, goes with the one who wanted to silence a witness uh, that is this bell here um, and this bell here so the anchor is that one and that means that the anchor is not this one and is not this one and is not this one and is not this one okay so you get the idea and once we've done that clue we can sort of cross it out very lightly crossed um, which is handy because sometimes you need to sort of realize oh gosh i didn't quite get that okay either captain slate was in the lifeboat or myrtle volume one was in the dining hall now this is quite a tricky clue um to to understand and we might want to just sort of mark that one for later and not quite um, figure out what that is and come back to it. And often that happens, uh, I've noticed in the day, they, they tend to have one which is just a bit harder. You kind of have to work through the others and come back. But we can mark that one. Uh, you might have noticed there's a question mark. So I to Captain, Captain Slate was in the lifeboat. So that means Captain Slate was in the lifeboat. So we can put the question mark there. Um, or Myrtle Volume 1, that's this one, um, was in the dining hall. So we can put that one there okay so um but we won't cross that one out because it's not done yet uh, next the tallest suspect hated the person who bought a steak knife now let's look at the different suspects the suspects are um there's five foot five for captain slate five foot nine for dr crimson and five foot five for chancellor tuscany so that means dr crimson is the one and um, what we're saying is dr crimson hated uh, the person who bought a steak knife. And what that really means in this game is that Dr. Crimson doesn't have the steak knife because Dr. Crimson can't hate themselves. Uh, if, I mean, you might say people can hate themselves, but that's not the way that this is working. These kinds of clues always mean it's not them. Now we don't get a nice sort of lots of clues here, lots of clues resolved, but we can say that the steak knife is not held by Dr. Crimson. And so you can just put an X there and that one's um, that one's gone. Um, so, uh, so we can just cross that one out. Okay, whoever wanted to rob the victim had red hair. Um, we can go through them again, but it was Dr. Crimson who has red hair. I guess you can probably guess that off the name, but uh, there you go, just to confirm it. And so Dr. Crimson um, uh, had red hair, and so whoever wanted to rob the victim. So that means that Dr. Crimson has the motivation of this one. The, 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 sorry, not this one. Uh, this one, this is Rob the victim. And if you're not sure what those different things are, just you can always go back to the motive. So Rob the victim is the gun, um, and so they have this one. Also, because the way that this works, yeah, Rob the victim now can't be anyone else. So we've got quite a lot of things just resolved there. It's the same number as, as this one up here. Um, so it's a good one and has closed off lots of options. So let's cross that one off too. Next. Um, whoever was in the Amazon River had a heavy weight weapon. And um, we know that the heaviest of the different 
um, uh, weapons is the ancient anchor. We just established that earlier on. Yeah. So, um, and uh, and so what we're saying is that the heavyweight we weapon, which is the anchor, is in the Amazon River. Okay. So here's the anchor. It's in the Amazon River. So it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. So we're getting somewhere with that one. Um, and so. Um, so yeah, whoever had the Amazon, whoever was in the Amazon River had the heavyweight weapon. So that's that one, um, again, resolved. And you'll often find when you get to this sort of stage, um, uh, that you know that there's something else you want to do up here with this one. Um, and, uh, when you get to the end, you've got one clue left, this red one. You can't use it really until the very end, but let's just see if we can understand it. Moss was found beside the renowned European Maya nest. So that means... The person who was killed, which is the European Mayanist, um, uh, was killed where was moss found. And it, it does say uh, that, that it's covered in moss. So we know that the anchor is the one that was the murder weapon, the one that was really used. So, um, so we know that now. Um, but what we can't yet work out is who has the anchor. And that's, that's not yet resolved. So we're a bit stuck. So what can we do to... to try and resolve this one. This person, Crimson, um, has either the anchor or she has the book, okay? Because it has to be one of the two. But we know that she has the motivation of gun. The motivation of gun doesn't go with the anchor. Do you see that? So she can't have the anchor because she has the motivation of gun and gun and motivation don't go together. So we can actually cross that one out and by crossing that one out, we know that she has this motivation, uh, sorry, this weapon, the book. Okay, so we're in this situation here. Now, what we can see is that the steak knife has this extra piece here, which is for evidence of this, look for a killer dining utensil left behind, which might sort of make us think that the steak knife is probably going to be uh, in the dining room. Okay, so the steak knife was there, which would mean that the book can't be there. But that's a bit weak. We might not know about that. Let's just try it the other way around, though, and see what happens. If we put the, um, whatever his name is, the, the grey one, the uh, Captain Slate, and that's it. So if you put Captain Slate here, you can see what the problem is quite quickly. So if we, if we put him here, that means that Captain Slate is here, which means that these ones are not there, if you see what I mean. Remember, this is just temporary. I'm going to try this. And remember, we know that that um, Dr. Crimson has the book. If the Captain Slate's there, then it's not here. That would mean that C C Captain Crimson is in the boat. But we know that Captain Crimson can't be in the boat because the Captain, because the Captain Slate's in the boat. So do you, why is Captain Crimson in the boat? Because if the, the clue says either Captain Slate's in the lifeboat, which we've set as the true, or Myrtle Volume 1 was in the dining hall. So if we've set that there, that has to make that a no, which has to make this a yes. And that would mean that Captain Crimson has the book. The book is in the boathouse. The boathouse, though, is therefore where Captain Crimson, where, where uh, Dr. Crimson is. And Dr. Crimson can't be in the boathouse because Captain Slate is in the boathouse. So that can't work. Okay, so I'm going to undo those changes back to where we were. And we'll just take that, leave that one as a question mark. It just doesn't resolve properly. So, so let's try it the other way around using the clue that, uh, that, that well, using the fact that it can't work that way around. So let's put the book in the, in the dining hall. And that means books in the dining hall. That means that it's not here. And that means that it's not here. That means that the the knife is in the boat yard. If that's there, then he isn't in the um, in the boat hall, the boat place. Um, and so that means that he might be somewhere else, but we didn't know he's definitely not there. But now we've got this all resolved. We have got some key information. So we know that the book is here and the that the location is here and that means that she must be here okay so uh if she's here she's not here 
and she's not here. Now, if she's not here and he's not here, he must be, this, sorry, this boat must be here, which means that she's there. And that must mean that he is here. So let's cross all of those things out. Okay, so now we know that the boat has, the, sorry, the Amazon is where Captain Slate is and uh, Captain Slate is where the boat is. And we know that the boat, that's, that is also the place which is um, the, the, the place which is really key. So at this point, we actually have pretty much everything. We know that Captain Slate is here and that's here. And that means that the, uh, we can say that he has the anchor because we know that the anchor uh, is the, the, the thing in this location. So, um, so we can cross that out because that's the, the thing in the kill, the killer killed somebody with the anchor. Yeah. So, and if that's the case, that's the case, uh, then that must be here. We can just sort of fill this in just to make, tidy everything up. Now, one thing that we don't know yet is we know he killed, uh, we know what the motive is and we know that it was with the Amazon, um, uh, killed the person. And so that means that we have who? Captain, Captain Slate. We have how with the ancient anchor, where we're in the Amazon rainforest, the Amazon river rather, and why, what's the motivation? It was to silence a witness. Okay, so it's really about that last piece. And once you've got those two things, trying both options then allows you to, to test it. So let's make your accusation. Uh, uh, well, it's Captain Slate, the ancient anchor, Amazon River, and to silent the witness. witness. Was he right? So uh, that's how you do your Myrtle. Don't guess, um, use the inductive reasoning. Remember that it's sometimes, it's just keeping a note of, I'm trying this way, I'm going this other way. I know some people like to do that on paper so that they can sort of see which ones, you know, what which bits are solid and which bits aren't solid. So they sort of uh, change color or something like that. And that's, that's a thing to do sometimes too with this kind of puzzle solving. Anyway, it's a fun game. Um, it's a bit, takes a bit longer than a normal Myrtle, Wordle or something like that. Um, can be sort of uh, a bit longer, uh, depending on how practiced you are with this kind of thing. So, um, but it is quite good fun. And uh, yeah, a new puzzle every day. And if you really like it, I guess buy the book. I haven't seen the book. I haven't, don't even know if it's any good or anything, but they, they clearly think it's good. All right, cheers.